you've ever wanted to try your hand at brewing beer at home, but you're scared off by all the equipment that looks like it belongs in a lab. Well, don't worry anymore because this thing takes care of the process for you. You take prepackaged ingredients, you stick them in here, you plug them into the machine, you hit start. We're a couple of days into testing. Here's what we know so far. Keep the instruction manual handy. The display on the front gives you some help, but you're still doing all the main steps of an authentic brew, and the instruction manual is handy and clear with its instructions, so keep it around. It makes cleaning easy. The Pico takes care of most of the work for you, using steam and heat to cleanse the pipes between brews, and keeping most of the ingredients in sealed packs. Now. We haven't tasted the first beer yet, so if it comes out infected, my joy over the ease of cleaning is gonna be kinda undone, but there's hope. It doesn't help you crash cool. After you brew, you have hot liquid called wort that's essentially unfermented beer. You can't add yeast yet or the heat's gonna kill it, so you need to cool your beer. And while the wort cools, it's super vulnerable to infection. The Pico recommends you seal your keg and set it aside for 24 hours to let it cool on its own. Maybe the seal will hold up and letting the vulnerable wart sit out won't have any negative effects, maybe. Give it time. To Pico's credit, this is still an authentic brewing process. It keeps the hands-on part of brewing to a minimum, but it still takes a couple of hours to cook up a batch of wort, then a few days for the yeast to ferment the wort into beer. And that's what we know so far. We'll be tasting our first beer in the next couple of days and brewing more soon. The Pico allows you to do a fast and a slow method for fermentation. We're also going to mess with the alcohol by volume and bitterness levels on future brews. We'll keep you updated on whether this microwave for beer actually produces a tasty brew.